Senior Report thanks Edmund Besch of Bristol Burgess Insurance Agency, 65 East Main Street, Westfield, for his generous grant to provide news to seniors. Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks, located on Water Street near the lake in Mayville. Senior Report with Reed Powers thanks Westfield's Schultz Chevy for a generous grant to inform seniors of important news. Over 50 years of service to Westfield by Chevrolet, Schultz Chevy across from the school. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Senior Report is broadcast live throughout northern Chautauqua County on Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. each week. Call in and share a thought, make a comment, ask a question, or simply wish someone a happy birthday on Chautauqua County's only live call-in senior program. Since 1995, Reed has been bringing viewers hundreds of interesting guests, informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. Good morning. What a beautiful day, and I'm being scalped. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. I have a little hair left. I like to see it. <laughs> Uh, Don doing the job. Don Zen is a good cameraman. He, he helps out a lot here. Uh, I wanted to say uh, happy, uh, happy, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and anybody else who wants to join in the fun. Um, they're throwing a party for me and I got some beautiful steaks. Thank you Gary Carr. He's the, uh, he's the butcher, not butcher, he, they'd like to say meat cutter over at uh, Top Supermarket in Westfield. And, if you, a little hint, if you want your steaks done a certain way, like I have mine cut an inch and a half, and he trims them beautifully, and uh, he, he will give you whatever you need. He grinds things for you. If you have a special mixture you want, he will prepare your meats, your steaks, whatever, and he, he just does a wonderful job. Just call Tops and ask for the, the, the meat manager, Gary Carr, and Gary does a fantastic job. This man is a genius with the meat. Okay, guys, so I got these beautiful steaks. We're going to have Delmonico's, incidentally. The Delmonico's ribeye. It's, you know, like we have a rib roast. Oh, it's the best part. And it's uh, just about as tender as a filet mignon, but it's superior in flavor. It has wonderful flavor, so it's the real king of the steaks. Um, have a good time, anyway, in your Father's Day, and invite somebody over who might not have a family around to help them celebrate. Uh, I know of a couple of people. And it's good to bring them over. Say, come on, join us. You know, what's an extra, extra beer and an extra piece of meat? You know, big deal. Okay, guys, we have a great show coming on. Well, regularly, uh, the head of the Audubon Society down in uh, Jamestown, and Chautauqua County too, for that matter, is uh, Ruth Lundeen, and she is a uh, champion bird watcher, bird manager, bird counter, bird bander, and she's just going to talk a little bit about the bird watching this time of year and what to expect and some interesting facts and figures about birds. Uh, we're surrounded by them and they certainly make life a lot more cheerful because we hear their beautiful songs drifting through, especially in the early morning as dawn comes up, that's when they start to announce their, uh, their territory, really. What they're doing is saying, hey, this is my place. <laughs> Okay, guys. Um, lots of news on the uh, <laughs> in the TV. Of course, uh, the Romney uh, Obama uh, showdown is coming. Uh, the elections, and uh, they're they're taking pot shots at each other, right and left. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I'm not sure Romney knows what, what it's like to live with a normal income when you have a $100 million income. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard to figure out how it is to live on the pittance we're being paid today. Uh, God help us, uh, but we're especially up in Stock County, it's kind of a poor area. And uh, I'm not sure Obama knows either. <laughs> He's a, a lawyer and you know, he makes lots of money. He's doing well. Uh, although the, for the amount of money that uh, he gets for being president is not much actually. When you figure the responsibility, uh, the finger on the nuclear uh, whistle and the, all the other little things this guy's got to deal with. But at any rate, I just say, don't watch TV. <laughs> It's depressing, people shooting each other and accidents and all the nonsense. And you don't get much about the wars, of course, that we're fighting all over the world, and uh, especially in Afghanistan, and uh, losing our kids over there and uh, spending money we don't have and never will have. Uh, we spent, we, you know, we've maxed out our credit cards, and we maxed out our children's credit cards now. Now they're working on our grandchildren's for the uh, expenses of these things. And, you know, you're talking a trillion a year. Don't let them kid you. Uh, now, uh, locally, of course, uh, Chautauqua County is faced with a tax crisis again. Uh, we are the highest tax county in the United States, according to most statisticians, or some people will quibble a little bit. Maybe we're not quite as high as some other uh, Allegheny counties, <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid we are. And we have a new big tax hike coming, and local taxes have gone up. Most of them, most local towns in Chautauqua County have just said, forget the 2% limit cap. There's a joker in the contract. All we got to do is vote not to have it. <laughs> That's all. And so a lot of them already pre-voted not to have it. But uh, in the meantime, they don't really tell you what the tax increases are because they're mixed in with um, what they call fees. Like the fees for permits just jumped from 35 to 50 uh, in Westfield. Uh, bags for garbage. Oh, they, they were 75, then 90, and then quickly to a dollar. Uh, all these little fees that you're not thinking about. Water, uh, sewage, uh, electricity, all these little things. The fees go up. But they're not taxes. They're not a tax raise. Yeah, give me a break, friends. Try to live without water <laughs> or sewage. <laughs> all right, guys, enough said. Lots of good news around the county. We have many wonderful senior uh, centers. I've picked a couple here I want to talk about very briefly because we have a lot to discuss. And uh, here we go. Over in Brockton, Portland, they have a wonderful group. Uh, Robin Carr is the president there. And if you don't know Robin, uh, get in touch with her and tell them you want to join if you're not a member already. And they give coupons to the um, Legion Auxiliary. You know, the coupons are very good for buying things and uh, for the service people. Uh, happy birthday, Beulah Williams, over there at uh, Brockton Portland Seniors. Um, they have uh, a big deal coming up, a graduation at the Brockton Prison. <laughs> yeah, the kids have gone through the program and they're now graduating and they're hopefully going to go out and uh, live a new kind of a life. And uh, this graduation is held July 19th at 9.30 a.m. and they're going to go over there uh, and uh, attend it. Why not? We have a chicken barbecue coming up. Uh, everybody does. We love the chicken barbecues. June 25th is the next meeting uh, at the uh, Brockton Legion where they meet. It's strawberry social. It's strawberry time, guys. Get out and eat your strawberries. I saw down on Route 5, across from the Sugar Shack, they have pick your own strawberries. You can go out and pick them all you want. And hey, you can't beat that, huh? Price is right, too. Uh, Lakeshore Seniors, they meet in the Dunkirk Senior Center, which is a gorgeous place, I might add. Barb, Barb Barberich is the president there. And uh, she says drop around for our next uh, uh, meeting, uh, and you'll meet uh, Charlene Hallmark, who's doing the, sir, doing the uh, coffee for everybody. May 30th, May 30th, next meeting, Lakeshore Seniors at the Dunkirk Center. Silver Creek, Mount Carmel has quite a bunch over there. And uh, they had a door prize, which was a hanging basket. One by Dolores Triller, they tell us. And uh, next meeting is June, uh, coming up, late June. And uh, they're going to, you will meet uh, Marianne Subert and Estelle Crino. And newcomers are welcome, and all the senior groups. And if you like to play bingo, don't, don't uh, forget, uh, most seniors play bingo at the end of their meeting. And it goes on for hours sometimes. It's great. Silver Creek Seniors, there's another crowd over there. Newman, 
Strawberry Festival, June 26th. And uh, it says on May 29th, the Suskis will furnish the food. I have a feeling that's a misprint here. They usually serve, they often serve pizza at the meetings, incidentally. And the United Senior Citizens, uh, that's quite a big gang, it's uh, senior leaders. And they meet at the Fredonia Beaver Club usually. And they'll have 80, 90 members there. And these are all senior leaders. But anybody can join. I mean, senior non-leaders, too. <laughs> senior followers. <laughs> anybody can join. And they're very active in terms of legislation. Happy birthday over there to uh, Ann Cohen, uh, Carmen Lucia, and Carolyn Patton, among many other people. Dr. Vona speaks on how to take care of your feet. And if, for those people, he's a, pod a podiatrist. And he will come and talk to your senior center. You know, foot care is very important. And uh, for those people who cannot walk over to his office, he'll make a house call. <laughs> All right. June is a beautiful time of year, isn't it? I've got a, we're shortening this down a little bit. I have a lot of other stuff here, but they're telling me my time has expired already, and they didn't give me very much time this time. So uh, I'm going to give you a lovely little public service announcement, and then we'll have Doc on. Here you go. This is Conversations here. change lives. I've seen too many patients and families needlessly suffer because their loved one did not have a health care proxy. Without a discussion and a health care proxy, your family has to guess what you would want, and there's often conflict. So I always recommend a health care proxy to my patients who are 18 or older. Start your conversation. Visit CompassionAndSupport.org. There you go. You know, it's, that's the problem with if you're caring for somebody with Alzheimer's. That's one of the major problems is they cannot respond and they don't talk. And so you can sit all day long without a word <laughs> with someone else. But you live lo a lonely life because, unfortunately, they're no longer able to talk. All right, we got a guy uh, who is, uh, he's quite able to talk. His name is John Hamels, and uh, he's affectionately known around here as Doc. Doc Hamels, you're on. Good morning, Reed. Before they put the camera on me, I want to point out that coming up this Thursday, Reed, I don't know if you're going to be able to make it, but well, there's the I, Bemis I, Point Heart and Soul Project, as you can read. It's at 630 at the uh, Lawson Boating Heritage Center which is a new museum, and it's going to have a lot of celebration. They're, they're going to be talking about the stories of Chautauqua County, the lakes, and so forth. I believe it has a lot to do with the, uh, the shipping industry and all those sorts of things here in Chautauqua County. So that's coming up. Also today, if anybody has it, some need to do something fun, go to Randolph. They are having their big Arts and Crafts Festival, their 40th anniversary. Good morning, Ruth. I missed you. Well, folks, y'all been watching uh, Nick Valenda last night. Did you watch that, Reed? I missed it. He made it. He got to the other side. We were all wondering if the, oh, if he had, oh, and he had oh, to show right. his passport. Did I was, he? I was wondering <laughs> what would happen if he didn't have his passport. If he'd make him walk back and get it. <laughs> Maybe they'd put him in jail. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, folks, uh, Nick Valenda, big deal. All right, here in Westfield, I got a scoop, Reed. Uh, go okay. Ahead. All right. We, I found out that we had an early stunt man here in Westfield, and uh, maybe you know who this is, Reed, when I uh, describe it. I was down to Zebros, and shout out to Zebros. There are some of our viewers over there. Hi, guys. Uh, a gentleman over there pointed out to me that he knew someone here in the Westfield area, excuse me, that had a rocket bicycle. <laughs> 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 and so <laughs> I see your big laugh over there, yeah, Reed. Jet propelled. Jet right. propelled. That yeah. was Reed Powers. He was long before Evil Knievel. He was <laughs> bottling pro or natural gas out of creeks, and he was shooting <laughs> over gorges in his rocket bike. What's that all about? Uh, well, I actually used gunpowder. <laughs> and one time I used a little too much, and the, uh, I had everybody in town coming down to watch it, and I lit her up, and <laughs> it blew up. Caught my pants on fire. Fortunately, <laughs> there was a puddle nearby. I jumped in the puddle, <laughs> sat in it, and uh, no injury occurred. But uh, how old were you? <laughs> <laughs> at that time, I guess I was about fourteen. Fourteen. All right, right there, right of age. Well, but, anyways, uh, folks, uh, Nick Valenda, Valenda, he's got nothing on Reed. <laughs> he blown his pants. <laughs> well, out. I'll tell you. In the middle of the night, I'd go down through town, streaking through, and all the bars <laughs> would empty out to see what was that. You know? It was the <laughs> Reed Power. Yeah. Well, it had a flame that shot back oh about six God. feet. Oh my God! Kids, don't try this at home. Made an awful.